Hello everyone and welcome to a video guide on how to get every recruitable party member in Lisa the Painful RPG. Let's get started. First is Terry Hintz. He automatically joins at the start of the game. Moving on. Next is Nern Guan. After heading through the left cave in the first crossroads, head off to the left. You will find him. Listen to his story, afterwards try to leave and he'll tell you another one. After that, attempt to leave again. He will somehow catch up to you and tell you another story. And then he'll join you. The next two characters can be recruited at the first bar, accessed by going right after going through the left cave at the first set of crossroads. This man wants you to buy him a drink. Do so for 20 mags and Olan Hoyt will join you. To the left of him is Rage Ironhead, who will also join you for 70 mags. If you don't have enough mags to recruit these two, which is very likely since the game just started, go into the right cave of the first crossroad and start running back and forth. You will occasionally run into shadowy figures, who are very weak and drop 10 mags each. Next is Beastborn. After you get the bike, go back to the left cave of the first crossroad, but instead take this upper path through this door. The man himself is there. Defeat him and he will join you. Next is Mad Dog. During the Bearer Boys section, jump down this cliff and go into this cave. Take this cliff from this man's head and make your way to this town located at the end of the cave at the beginning of the section. Find this man, give him the club and Mad Dog will join you. When you reach the factory, keep hitting right until you reach this mountain occupied by Barrow Boys. Climb in and grab Goldie the Hen at the very top. You'll need her for later. Next is Farty Hernandez, who is another character who automatically joins you. Moving on. Next is Rooster Coleman. After you get Goldie, you can go back to the first crossroad. Rooster's house is located at the top of the area. After talking to him, you can have him join you and in return for her. Next is Percy Monsoon. After the Destiny Deciding Bow movement, he will also join you automatically. The next character requires two cutscenes. The first is during your first encounter with the Salvation Rangers. Simply defeat the Snake Man and move on. The next character is Buckets. In order to get him, you must return to the Russian Roulette building um, on your way to the second area. Here you must play 10 rounds of Russian Roulette against the opponents. Now most people will recommend doing this later in the game, or maybe not at all since you will most likely lose several party members in the process. Also, while I don't have any solid evidence of this, I have heard that using characters with higher luck stats will make you more likely to win. After playing enough, Buckets will meet you outside and join you. A word of warning before the next area, do not give dynamite to these two in the second area. There is another way around them up top. The next area we're going to has several recruitable party members in them, and these two will blow up the town, killing them all. Go through this cave and make your way down this hidden town of martial artists. Head to the far left of the town and meet this cat lover. Talk to him, Yazan Barghodi will join you. In this dojo, you will find a group of people getting destroyed by this mysterious man, a Tiger Mask. Now this is a pretty tough fight, but if you can fight him and defeat him, Tiger Man will join your team. To the far right of the town, you will find a man holding a yard sale. Buy the playing cards for 200 mags and the weird doll for 32 mags. Immediately exchange the doll of this man on the upper ledge for some Olathian whiskey. Don't drink this. Save it since you'll need it for a party member later. Now take the cards to this cave, give him the jack, and he will join you. On the way to this town, you probably saw a really intoxicated guy next to the bar. This is your next party member. Give him the Olathian whiskey, and Bertie Hall will join you. Next, go find this inn ran by this creepy man. There is a man with a bird mask on the top floor who will tell you different rhymes every time you stay at the inn. I'm not sure if you need to talk to him, but I'd like to. After several states at the end, Geese Thompson will join your party. Next is Dick Dixon. While in the area of all the football players, head down this ladder on the second screen and watch a second cutscene with the Salvation Rangers. Afterwards, Dick will join you. 
find this cave and head into this secret area. At the end of this place, you'll find a mutant holding a record. Take it since you'll need it for later. You will have to fight the mutant on the way out though, so be careful. Next is Garth. In the cave heading to the desert area, take a detour into this cave. Garth is here and he will join you for 150 mags. While in the desert area, go into this cave and pick up this duffel bag. You will need it for, for a recruitable party member later on. Past the desert is a small town. Go into the bar and talk to this man. For 500 mags, Clint Olympic will join you. At the top of this town is another party member, Ajit Mandeep. He expresses his dislike for joy and will join you if you've stayed clean up to this point in the game. However, in what may be a glitch, he will not join you if you've taken exactly two joy, but will if you've taken less or more than that. When you reach the swamp, head left until you find this man a diving helmet. Play that odd record you got, talk to him again, and Bo Wyatt will join you. While at the Beehive, find and talk to the mysterious homeless man RT. If you've picked up his duffel bag back in the desert, he will join you. While you're here, also talk to Queen Roger, and he will ask you to do some work for him. Agree, and you will be thrown into a series of short battles in which you must seduce various characters. Never leave this, this area manually. The game will automatically oh. stop you once you've done enough work. Afterwards, Queen Roger can join your team. On the way back from the beehive, get off your bike and jump down this water hole. You can technically do this on the way to the beehive, but I like to do it on the way back. Go through this cave until you reach a hidden village of fish people. While you're here, pick up a bottle of green paste from this merchant. You'll need it for a later party member. Make your way through the village until you reach this odd map. This map will take you to an island with a few party members. Take it and you'll find yourself in Fishman Court. After the cutscene, Harvey Alabaster the Fishman Lawyer will also join you. Go back to the construction area and find this bar high up in the sky. If you bought the green paste in the Fishman Village, you can give it to Carp and he will join you. Now hit the Shardy and give him the garbage map. He will now take you to Garbage Island, where two more characters lie. After getting past the man who wants you to have the stink status, talk to the person in charge of kart racing. You will then have to do four rounds of kart racing. Now you're going to need some button mashing skills, especially for the last one, but after the thing, the man himself, go talk to Fly Manetti and he will join you. Next is Ollie Nichols. Make your way to the end of Garbage Island and you'll find his pub. Pay off his debt, a whole whopping two mags, and he will also join you. Next is Shock Lord. When you reach the EWC, undergo the Tag Team Championship Challenge. Shock Lord will accompany you throughout the next series of battles, but he will permanently join you after you defeat the Sunset Express. Now, a word of warning before this next character. Actually getting him will lock out all access to the EWC, which is, which is considered the best grinding spot in the game. So this is another character I don't recommend getting unless you plan to use him or you want that achievement. Also, get Shock Lord before you get this guy. Simply what you need to do is undergo the Eternal Title Challenge. Defeat the opponents one after another until you, you get to Death Queen. Defeating him is specifically what locks you out of the EWC. After you have thoroughly ruined wrestling, you are given the title belt. Equip the belt and take it to this cave in the next screen over. Sonny Backlowitz will recognize it and join your team. Next is Buffalo Van Dyke. This is the final party member who will automatically join you. After you defeat him and his team in the snow area, he will join you. And finally is Chris Bladaddy. While in the bathhouse, find this man tied up in one of the rooms. His name is Tolby and he's friends with Crisp. Take him to the cliff with the sunset and you will find him. And he will also join you in return for Toby's safety. And that's everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, thanks for watching.